Let's do another example of string manipulation in Delphi, and we're going to look at how we can keep track of which letters we've used, for example, in some sort of guessing game. So let's take this program. It's a simple little program where we guess a letter, and we just say if the letter is in the word or not. So if you look here, we get the phrase from that edit box. We ask the user to type in a character. We obviously convert it to uppercase, because you'll notice all the letters are already in uppercase. We can assume that for this program. And if the position of that letter inside the phrase is greater than zero, then we know that that letter is somewhere inside it. So we say that letter is in the phrase. Else we say it's not in the phrase. So if the position of the letter inside the phrase, make sure you get that in the right order. If that is some sort of number that's not a zero, it's a one or a two or a 17, that means it's somewhere there. Then we know it's in there. Now, that's fine. And that, that's a lovely little program we've got here. And let's run it and see what it does when we run. So we can guess the letter O. And it will work and say, yes, there's an O is in the phrase. That's great. But if I guess the letter M, it'll say, no, the M is not in the phrase. Um, but if I guess the letter M again, it doesn't tell me how hey, you've used this up already. So what I'm going to do is, as you saw there, I've got a little memo control here for use. I'm going to, every time we guess a letter, I want to actually put that letter in the memo control. I want to say, um, s uh, memo used dot lines dot add s letter now i only want to do that and i only want to do this whole error checking if they've guessed a letter that they haven't used yet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a global variable reason because i want it to keep its value after they've clicked on this guest letter multiple times so i'm going to make an s used string and I'm going to give it a default value of nothing. I'm going to initialize it to the nothing string. So SUs is a string with nothing. It's global. It's got nothing in it. And what I'm going to do is I want to, when we guess a letter, I want to put the, the letter into the memo control. But I also want to say SUs is equal to SUs plus this letter so this s used every time we guess a letter so we guess the letter o will be an o and then it's going to add the m onto whatever was in it already and then it'll add a c and so on so that's going to accumulate all the letters we've used okay but what i want to do before i do all of this is i actually want to check hey when we guess a letter i actually want to first check if we've used that letter so if and it's going to be something very similar to what we've got here. If the position of the letter that you just guessed in S used this time, if that is some positive number, then we know that you've used this letter. Because if this, if we guess the letter O and the O letter is in the U somewhere, it's a greater than zero. It's not, it's, it's one, one or three or six. That means you've used it. Then we're going to say, Hey, show message you already used this letter and if they haven't used the letter else then i will say okay now we know that they haven't used it now i can add the letter to the memo now i can add it to the s used and do all of this and i must put the end this is the end of the else of the s used check I like to write comments so i know what the, it is so there we go so let's try that out so we first checked if the letter is in our used string if it's greater than zero in other words it's there then we say you used if it's not there if it's not greater than zero it's zero it means we haven't used that letter then we add the letter to the memo we add it to used and we just do what we normally do and then the next letter we go hey if we use it hey it'll, it'll stop there so let's try it. So it's running there. So we're going to guess the letter O. And O is in the phrase. And we're going to guess the letter M. And M is in the is not in the phrase. But we've guessed it. So let's try the letter O again. And we go, oh, no, you already used this letter. And it doesn't add it to the, the memo. And it just it doesn't give another message. Hey, it was in there. It just leaves it out. So we guess the letter B. Yes, B is in the phrase. Let's guess O again. No, you already used that. And what happens if I guess a B now? No, but you already used that as well. So there we go. So this is a little way you can keep track of the letters that you used. 
and then you can then okay so if you use that one bump then you can say you've used it otherwise it's in it or not and if i really want to make this game look cool i'm just going to come here and i'm actually going to set the password char there's a password char yeah i'm going to set the password char to star and if i do that then you, then you don't even know what the word is so there we go so you can guess the word but you can't do that for Hangman because Hangman, you could actually replace these letters. But yeah, that's something we could do just for this this particular version of the game. But there we go. For more videos on string handling, go to our YouTube channel. Click on that subscribe button. Leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Even check out our playlists. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.